I uh, I want to show you how I'm feeding these guys eh? and the love they have for this grass. This grass, I've said it many times, this is called uh, Brachelia molato. And uh, I've talked about feeding animals so, so much. And I told you that the concept of everything about farming is about feeds. So this is Brachelia molato. I think you can see. It has a very big leaf. Uh, it is spongy. Uh, it is hay. This is what they call hay. So we are giving it to these guys. These are males. Some of them were imported. Some were not imported. Like those babies you see. Those were not imported. Those are babies like this one. Is uh, a son to that one. Because the father was imported. That guy was imported. And this one was not imported. But this guy you see is three months old. He's now on zero grazing. So we are winning him. To take him to the zero grazing so that they can really show up their performance. So their performance uh, is determined on their growth rates and the adaptability. But today, basically, I want to talk about the housing in nature. I, I really want to explain something on the housing. Do you see, do you see the, the traits? Those are the fathers. They are the possible fathers because we put two, three goats in one section. So this is Brachelia molato. This animal really loves it so much. I think you can see they are enjoying. You also have a look at this. These guys, those are boas. This is a Kalahari. Um, I think let me put these guys out to also get out and see. Yeah, so these guys, we want them feeding. We want them enjoying. We want them having the blast. So now I have put for them the feeds. And uh, don't forget, I told you, uh, this is uh, alfalfa grass uh, with Brachelia molato, the same, crushed into a powder. And uh, um, um, Chloris Guyana as well. But as well, we put some concentrate, which has some little maize bran. Ah, today, I'm discussing about the housing. There is one, allow me give you this story. There is one of my friends. Uh, he built a very big house uh, some time back. When I went to his farm, I told him, you man, do you think you need this kind of housing? He said, yes, because they told me goats want raised houses. De -de -de -de. You know the stories of the country. I said, okay, go on. But finally, he agreed with me and he made uh, simple, but not very simple houses. He has structures that sometimes it even has <laughs> over 200. I always call him a rich man and he doesn't want to believe that he's a rich man. But the money he invested in many things, you just can't believe. Because he was, um, he was told to build the houses of um, um, uh, over 30. No, no, there were around 100 iron sheets. I, sometime, I met him and also had... Uh, uh, goats actually it was cow's structure it had over 300 uh, uh, iron sheets so i was trying to tell him that you people oh my person housing doesn't matter but how technical is the house so recently surprisingly he agreed with me uh, he made a simple house uh, but also not that very simple and uh, good enough he moved and went to south africa Coming back, he was crying and say, Hamis, I spent a lot of money on the housing than anything. I spent a lot of money on the housing than anything. I want you to look at this, uh, these structures you see. These structures are very simple structures, are very simple uh, iron sheets. It rained yesterday, but look how these animals are looking. What I'm trying to explain to you is that when you go to South Africa, their housing they make in Uganda, they can't even cost two millions. Just imagine if you've made this kind of structure. The only expensive thing we have is the iron sheets. Sorry, iron sheets and the, 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 the chain link. But it is a very simple house. Shh, look at this. Look at this. We have over 50 goats there. But look at this is the structure. They only run in here if it rains. If it's not raining, they can't go in there. 
So my dear people, I want you to understand the reason why I'm showing you this. These animals you see, they were newly imported. Uh, actually, I think the other one has taken a year in Uganda. This one has only taken uh, maybe weeks in Uganda. These ones have taken a year in Uganda. But they are living under these simple houses. So I cannot get tired of explaining to you guys that housing is not an issue to an animal. But how technical is the house? What makes a house technical are the portions. I told you this is an exercising yard. That, that is where they feed from. Now this is a zero grazing unit or where we fatten these guys. And where we spread them from is also there. The simple um, shelter where they can stay, it is also there. So that's how good this house is. And the house is too open. You get? The air can go through it at any time. The ventilation is too perfect. Whereby you cannot even get any smell out of this house. Let nobody lie to you that the coldness is going to kill your animals. Like this cold weather, mania, the, 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 the blowing of the wind is going to cause pneumonia. Those are just stories. Me, I'm telling you the reality. Do as simple house as you can. Invest more money in an animal. Let me tell you one thing. Some of those animals are over 7 million. But the house itself, it may be like 1 million or 1.5. As simple as that. But those animals have never died. So you people who have done very expensive houses, make sure you also invest in very expensive animals. Because it doesn't make sense to have that kind of a housing and you have very poor animals have very small number of animals you get so i was emphasizing the point of um the housing never spend a lot of money on the housing spend less money on the housing and spend more money on the animals and the feeds because the feed is the code of the day let me just wish you the best guys just look at how simple my houses are look at the other one look at this look at where the pure stay the ones that were not even born here, the newly imported, see how they are performing. So, my dear people, let me just wish you the best. And I think uh, you need to learn a lot. And I think it will give you very good results. Let me just wish you the best. I think uh, I wanted you as well to appreciate that uh, I have been able also to raise up these goats. I think you can see their body scores. These are uh, three months old goats. I think you can see their performance the fathers were imported the mothers are pure they were also imported long time ago so they are in that lineage but i think you look at their body score look at their stand look at their muscles they are really very very good animals and uh, i think we can manage that but that is because of zero grazing because i have pulled those ones off uh, and now i'm putting them here on zero grazing and they are really adapting so nice so basically that's what i really wanted you to see let me just wish you the best and bye for now